fucking Frenchie. Shit, I'm Rasmatics again. What's up, <laughs> I'm Luffy, dude? I'm Luffy, very bro. happy to have. I'm Luffy. Very happy to be on your stream, man. Thanks for having me. All right, you're very welcome, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Hey, hey, so today, or uh, uh, tonight, rather, we're gonna go over. So if you were with us last, um, what was it, Tuesday or Thursday night? We Thursday. went. We went over the brackets. We went over the pools for Street Fighter Five, Five. for SCR, and we kind of made our predictions on what. Uh, who was going to make it out of those pools and winners and losers. We took predictions from the chat. We yep. took predictions um, from ourselves. And we had differing uh, opinions on what those were going to look like. So we're going to kind of go over those and we're going to look at our predictions. We're going to see where we were right, where we went wrong, what happened in those pools if you were a part of said pools. And uh, yeah, we'll just talk about the STR experience. So let's get into it. All I'll right. Just give you guys a sneak preview. Most of them are wrong. <laughs> throw that out there. Yeah, <laughs> there were actually were some wrong. wrenches thrown in the into the mix too. That True. like some of the brackets got changed or uh, like there was one I know that was like Yusuf suddenly was in the bracket where he Dude, shouldn't yeah, have been. Yeah, he wasn't. He got it was moved. supposed there was to be a lot the of bracket. Yeah, yeah. 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 Weird. and then Yusuf was in there. Did we'll I just, get, we'll did we'll we get just there. look past him because Yusuf is ridiculous? No, I know. I don't think he was. Yeah, either he got moved in. We'll talk about that bracket when we get there. We'll talk about that. Can we turn down the game sound just a little bit? Yeah, well, the game sound's going to be off right now. Okay, cool. So Boom. He just think, got think a little bit. So I don't know if you guys remember, but the brackets were really weird on the Smash GG website that was hosting SCR. It started with bracket 10, so we're going to go bracket 10, then 1, then 11 for whatever reason. We'll oh, all yeah, do the yeah. skipping it's around. Totally out of order. It's all uh, weird. We like that, though. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah, chaos. Absolutely like chaos. Those. Yo, can I get my, my headphones? Can I, yeah, can you I that, turn out my headphones? I'll turn you up a little bit. Then. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. We just try to keep you low because you get too loud. He gets so loud. Get no, so not loud. my voice, but my because I can't hear you guys talking. Oh, no, Matt no. sounds like he's whispering. Oh, oh. how's yeah. that? Oh, that's, that's better. That's there way you go. better. Okay, Sick. now we now we're in there. Let's look into this one. We've got... Okay, did this one change at all? Because I see Dogra, Dominion. I don't remember seeing Dominion in the bracket. I don't remember seeing Dominion because uh, none of us picked Dominion in this bracket. So, Di wait, so Dominion was in this bracket? Why is Dominion, Dominion sponsored by why the Why is Dominican it Gam? Dudes? Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say, Gam, <laughs> Dominion? What? I'm confused. And Dominion made it did out. Did he get picked up? He's I'm pretty they're sure. They're flying him out no. to a train in the Dominican wait, no, hold Republic on, hold now, on. right? I'm <laughs> skipping. <laughs> I don't think this is accurate. You sure? Yeah. The reason why is because Where's Chris Wynn? Oliver Queen had to play Dominion to make it into winner side top thirty. I think that there's just I think that that Gam person is wrong. I think that this That's is not right. Dominion. No, I don't think it's Dominion. You think it's but just I think it's a ga someone Gam, but the, for whatever reason Dominion. They thought it was Dominion. Dominion. They were like, wow, that guy is he's probably he's the darkest very dark. Dude from yeah, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's just as dark as Dominion. So, Maybe yeah. almost as tall. And, uh, probably like, Dominion. Let's That's the only so let's just go ahead and talk about our picks for this, and then we'll move on. Hopefully, the brackets didn't change that much because it kind of throws a wrench in everything that we did. Yeah. Because okay, I remember but seeing J.C. Penny, Chris Wynn, uh, Mike Elna. Yeah, Mike. El Mike Elna was in this. So Nick. Uh, what I don't I see. Say? What did I say? You see four wood. I don't see four wood. Oh, so that's four who was in this bracket. Four wood got bodied so by Dominion. Apparently, he got shifted. Yeah. Oh man, that throws off our prediction so hard. Okay, so this yeah. first one is kind of just a wash. So hopefully, yeah, let's let's. I don't know, man. I mean, Dogra, I, like, I like Dogra getting hey, beat I mean, by Dominion, Dominion, Dominion slash right there. Dominican Republic. Should we just ask him? Like he's literally right yeah, there. Yeah, he's actually right there. Should we entertain yeah, the people while I ask him. All right, cool. So Nick's gonna go get this information. He's actually just yelling, "Hey, Dominion!" <laughs> I mean, his name is Kevin. Nothing but. super specific, but. Did you make it out winter side? Oh, okay, okay. Wu, Wait, this is this is accurate. Dogra. So maybe Forwood changed his name because I don't see Forwood. Okay, this Do you is accurate. Forward? Yeah, um, I don't see Forwood in here, but he said he beat Forwood, so that must be. Uh, oh no, he's right here. Yeah, yeah Forwood's right there. Right so there. he beat J C. Oh Penny. what? He beat Forwood. He beat Forwood. Chris Wynn, and, and then he beat Dogra. And Nick said that Forwood was going to come out in winners, and he thought Dogra was going to come out in losers. Yeah, because Diamond wasn't in this one, dude. Whoa. He came <laughs> in. The timeline. He threw the wrench in it. The timeline. And he threw up Forwood. Yeah, and he totally. If if I had known Diamond was going to be in this. I would have bet on Fong all day. So all let's day. go. Let's take a look at the um, losers' side of this bracket, and the losers' side Chris of this Wynn. bracket was actually Chris Wynn. Dang, who came, or wait, no, sorry, that the Dogra. Yeah, right? Dogra, Dogra, Dogra made it came out. out. Yeah. Wait, so who? Oh. So Dominion beat Dogra. I was confused with that bracket. Yeah, Dominion, yeah, Dominion beat Dogra. So that's what happened. Win so into Dominion finals. beat Dogra and qualified out of winners. And now this is the loser side of that bracket. Dude, that became Ooh. a nasty freaking bracket real quick. It, yeah. it was already pretty brutal. Like I expected Forward and uh, Dogra to come out, um, but 
Yeah, and Forwood went into losers like second round, and then he yeah. bodied like three people. And Forwood then bodied Mike Chris, Elna, huh? Oh, Chris oh, Wynn and he beat Mike Elna. That's very, Forwood. that's pretty interesting. That Chris that's kind Wynn of an upset, Forwood. right? Yeah. And then Chris Wynn, yeah, I would Forwood. say that's, kind of that's an upset. An upset. Yeah. That's an upset for sure. Good for Chris um, Wynn. Man. Yeah, man, Chris Wynn's good, man. I've been saying that for twenty years. That dude's hella good. But uh, <laughs> you know, he's starting to get, he's starting to get a little more recognition now. So interesting. So this bracket, just had to curb the wake up jab. We had pegged all wrong. Yeah, a exactly. little bit. <laughs> yeah, we did have it. Slow I mean, down. so you so you chose you chose Dogra, Dogra and winners coming out in winners, and then you chose Mike Elna losers. Um, wow, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyvania wasn't there, so this one's a wash. Our viewer choice was by Kickdown, and he also sh chose uh, Dogra for winners and Mike Elna for losers. Shout this out to this my one boy got wrecked. This Shout one got wrecked. Yeah. So we're moving on. We're moving on. Straight <laughs> All right, let's go to bracket one. So okay. bracket one, let's take a look here. This we one. Had okay. Yeah, go for it. Oh man, Lapchi. Ooh. I don't remember seeing Lapchi. Yeah, I, don't think I, Lapchi I remember Lapchi was, there. was in there. I don't there. think he was there. No? Gamer B I'm was sure definitely he was in, there. in the bracket, but he wasn't at SCR. And Commander Jesse's oh. in this bracket. Oh. Next he wasn't week. at SCR, but he beat people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Been there, dude. Maybe he was yeah, at SCR. Wait, this wait, one Lapchi? went exactly. Lapchi yeah. was here. Yeah. He was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him the whole weekend. I didn't either, but apparently he was here scoping things out because he's trying to get an idea of what's going on for Canada Cup. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Interesting. Matt yeah, with so the Illuminati knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati boys. So I think he's quickly becoming like the master, the mastermind behind Dude, the Illuminati. The he has so much. <laughs> he's the he Phantom has more knowledge than I. I don't have any any knowledge. He is the Phantom Menace. He's, he's a Phantom, Phantom Hand. Hand. Phantom Hand. <laughs> he's not really a menace. He's like a Phantom <laughs> Hero. Okay, right. of mine like a hand. and everybody's. So Gamer B came out in winners, and Nick predicted Gamer B coming out in winners. Sal predicted Gamer B coming out in winners. Yeah. I predicted Jesse coming out in winners. That was the hopeful yeah. pick. I respect yeah. that. I respect that. was that. the belief pick. So and then you said, you were like, this dude just came off of winning back-to-back -back yeah, major like, tournaments in no. in a more competitive region. Let's see if you guys were, were right oh. here then. And yes, you are. Yeah. Commander Jesse definitely did come out in losers. Yeah, yeah he was he was for sure the favorite to be now. Pixel said though. a Lapchi was a under like a dark horse. Nick yeah. said that Aqua Snake was a close second to Jesse, and then Sal said that Lapchi was a close close second. So we were aware that Lapchi was in the bracket. But who's this Pixels guy? He Pixels. freaking ran so train. Pixels is a Vegas uh, Nikali player. Ah, yeah. Vegas Nikali. He might be. He might be. Uh, now nah. he's either Nikali or Nash. Well, you never count out Nikali, nor Vega, nor Nash. No, yeah, so <laughs> you can't, can't count on any of those. Games. And our viewer pick for the bracket was ITNW, choosing the same as me, Jesse and winners, and Gamer B and losers. That dude had belief. <laughs> he had belief. Y'all both, both did. All right, moving yeah. on to 11. We're going to kind of go fast here because if we spend as much time as we did when oh we made God. this. Um, then we'd be then three hours deep <laughs> and yeah. the tournament would be pass passing us by. So 11, uh, bracket 11. Was Nick chose Dr. Ray only because you hyped him up so much? I hadn't played this dude yet. Well, so he I had won. No idea. So you, you, yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, and he beat me later on. Reynold <laughs> was Sal's pick. Yep. Is, uh, where's Reynold in this? Reynold lost. He got sent to losers <laughs> by Reedman. Reedman, who I don't even okay. know who that dude is. He's got the reads though. He's so got the reads though. That's for sure. That's he probably okay. plays Geef then. Most likely. Geef or Alex. One or the other. Probably a Ken player. Most likely. <laughs> He's so Reed man. Before we get to the losers bracket yeah. here. What did chat say? Uh, chat said it was in cross, and he also said that DRA was going to be win or was going to come out and win. Winners. Okay. And then who made so everyone had losers. faith in and the, losers in the Republic. was Reno came yeah. out. This one so was a pretty obvious bracket. Nick was right for losers. Um, Sal said DR Ray was going to come out in losers. So uh, Sal's is reversed. He wanted yep. Raynal to come out in winners okay. I fucked up. and DR Ray to come out in losers. <laughs> I fucked up. And then I said our I think, I feel like that could have happened, though. That could have. I, I didn't see their match. I don't know how close it was. but I did not realize how real DR, DR, DR Ray was in this game. He's actually pretty good. Really good player. Yeah, no, he is. Yes, he is. I really wanted Arliath to get out there. And that was also the viewer choice was DR Ray and Arliath. Oh, yeah. Arliath, Arliath was in here? Where? Um, this was the he? Vega bracket. Oh, he's over here. Oh, well, damn, he went 0-2. Our Lyoth did not get to play. Oh, uh, <laughs> Something happened the oh, night before crap. pools that did not allow him to play in the tournament. Oh, sounds oh. sad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever yeah. that is that Saturday. happened. Yeah. I'm sorry, he's alive. Bro. He's alive. Okay. Yeah, he's alive. Healthy? Yeah. Okay. Physically. All right, moving on okay. to bracket 12 here. Dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, everything's okay, Our Lyoth. We love you, dude. <laughs> so, Riketsu, Tatsu, Shoryu, Prentice, Cool. 
Um, oh, okay. This was a really this was a love interesting. Triangle. This, this was, was a really a interesting triangle. bracket. We all kind of agreed that it was this triangle, like you're saying, between yeah. Brent, Reiketsu, and Tatsu, and exactly what we kind of predicted, kind of or, oh, something similar to what we sort predicted. Sort of, except happened. Justin fucked up. Justin did Shout out to you, Justin. Is he in the chat room? <laughs> He's totally in Justin, you here? He hey, you fucked up, dog. Hey, oh, we yeah, know that. Be. I want you to know that, but we we, we all <laughs> fucked up. We still love you, though. none of us got top eight, so <laughs> we all fucked up. Hey, but you but fucked up especially, <laughs> though, Justin, just so you know. I didn't see what happened, but. You fucked up, dude. Let me tell you. Okay. Like, I saw all right, it. All right, all right. Let me tell you. He fucked up. Okay, just tell him what it was. What it was. Dude, you fucked up. Like, what happened? You played, like, honestly, like, he, he went on the station. And okay. then he just like he played Nick, like a bitch. Nick, did you pay to get in the tournament? Don't listen to this guy. That's how that's how he tries to teach me <laughs> to play the game. Unfortunately, that's how his his mentors taught him the game. You play like a bitch, and then he doesn't give you advice. It's just you play like no, a bitch. No, okay. So did here's you buy the advice. Did you okay, buy the tournament tonight? Hold on, real quick. We huh? gotta answer a question. Yes, I'm I'm in the tournament. Okay, he's yeah. in the tournament. I, I, in the tournament. All right. I gave them my five dollars. All right. So, uh, basically, he went on the station. Okay. And Fine. he asked himself, "Am I a bitch?" And then his answer was, I don't know. Now, what that means is when he played against Brent, he played scared. He wasn't anti-airing when he should. He wasn't staying yeah, in the ranges that he had to be in because he didn't trust his own reactions. Online. Thus, he was playing like a bitch. He played like a bitch, bro. He's in chat, dude. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I love you, Justin. All right, I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't give no fucks, bro. You're a grown-ass man. We step on that station, I'll body you like you grown man. I'll body you like you're 80 years old. And you talk shit about my grandfather. <laughs> I will still body you. So okay. Nick said that Riketsu was going to come out in winners, and Tatsu was going to. Or sorry, because Riketsu winners. Because to me, Tatsu it all depended loses. on what side of the brackets each player uh, started on. It's true. So if Tatsu, yeah. star I felt like if Tatsu started on Riketsu's side, he might be able to put Riketsu in losers, right? And then come out in winners. But I thought what was more likely to happen was that Riketsu would put Brent in losers, and then Tatsu would beat Brent. And losers. Instead, and losers. In instead, Nick beat Reiketsu. Or Brent. No, I didn't beat <laughs> Reiketsu. I didn't play Reiketsu. <laughs> yeah, Brent beat Reiketsu. It was pretty impressive. Definitely a strong showing, strong showing Brent from Brent. Yeah, Br Brent beat Reiketsu, and then Reiketsu beat, beat Tatsu. Beat Justin in losers. And yeah. losers. Yeah, losers. So what were the predictions? Reiketsu didn't do his job. No, so he did not. My prediction was actually Brent in winners, and then Tatsu in losers. So I ah. had no faith in Reiketsu. Damn. <laughs> He yeah. didn't know who Reiketsu was. That's though. true, yeah. Clofar, he didn't see his Vega in Street he Fighter 4. He didn't see the, the wreckage that was Reiketsu's Vega in 4. Clothar yeah, said that Capcom.sys was going to fucking... <laughs> He's going to body everything? <laughs> yeah. Who? <laughs> Oh, Capcom, you're right. Yeah, dude, that was a wise kit. choice. He he did the work. Yeah, he he yeah. actually did some fucking work. Look at that shit. He got man. sent to losers first round, and then he bodied like four people. <laughs> That's what's up. Like three dude. people. And the then Tatsu took him out. And losers. That's yeah, how that Tatsu works. has a PS4, I think, so he didn't get that rootkit. Not affected by the yeah. rootkit. <laughs> All right, now the bracket that everybody wants to talk about. <laughs> the rootkit. Oh, oh no, no, no! This is not the bracket everybody wants to talk about. This is not certainly not the bracket I want to talk about. You fucked up. I, yeah, you want to talk about fucking up and playing like a bitch? <laughs> oh man, that was me. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Actually, yeah. the only person right here was the viewer. Which was kicked down. He chose K Brad winners and Nick losers. Okay. Damn. That was a that was a good bet. I was feeling myself though. I yeah. made you guys believe in me that I was gonna beat K Brad. <laughs> I had, Shout I, out I to K Brad. Okay. He I chose me and then he went and got third. Yeah, so he that's bodied pretty sick. everyone. He bodied, he bodied Justin Wong. He bodied Mago. He bodied two. When I played him, it was I could tell that he was able to react like a lot. F I could tell that he was playing this like it was Street Fighter Four, and like especially afterwards when I like decompressed the match, I was like, okay. I th I'd felt that type of like oppressive neutral pressure before, right? But I haven't experienced it in this game yet, mm. and that's like I feel like he kind of broke through this this like uh, little barrier, like this wall, possibly because of the reduced input lag, maybe not. Um, but yeah, something really interesting, something that something clicked, uh, something yeah. clicked for him. But anyways, it was a really good match. I, I was happy with my my uh, not happy with my performance, performance but, but you know satisfied. Yeah. I made it out in losers, so. <laughs> Make it out of my pools. I mean, beating K Brad was the goal, uh, but I made it out in pools. And, I definitely and, uh, thought Nasser was going to do a lot better, and I I picked Nasser for winners. Damn. But Wait, what? Yeah, There's I chose Nasser so much for belief. winners. Yeah, he had a There's lot. so much belief. He there. has a lot of faith. This man. It's yeah. surprising that he's an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nasser, the new Sorry, god. family. It had the to come god. out this way. <laughs> <laughs> Blown up. Exposed. Exposed for all to see. Uh, so I don't know if you really are anymore. I oh, I totally am. Oh, okay, for sure, dude. Exposed. So much belief. Exposed. So this was the loser's side. Right, right. Nice. So I got... So So who is King Zola? Or Shola? King, King Shola, Shola was a Laura player. I guess he's an MKX player. 
And yeah. this guy was actually, he beat Nasser, um, and then Nasser was like, he was like, yeah, he's pretty good, or like, he has the setup, so I was like, okay. So MKX player, probably doesn't have like as, as great a neutral game, so I was like, I just need to stay away from this dude and not ever get in. I mean, that's the general plan versus Laura anyways, it's right. like, <laughs> just don't let her get in ever. And then that was, that was kind of it. And that was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. The, he was pretty good. Nice. He was pretty good. Cool. So yeah. I guess that I took it over that bracket. Bracket. 13. Out, losers. Oh, and oh, low tier God started. I didn't get to play him. He started on K Brad's side. So K Brad put him in took losers. Him I never got to play him. Yeah. Which was unfortunate. I really wanted to play him. That would have been fun. I really, really wanted to play him. Yeah, it was cool. He walked in here and he just said hello to me. Like, <laughs> like it was like, like we were cool. <laughs> Which I guess, I guess we are. Yeah, like I don't, really, I don't know. If I, I don't have. He tweeted me asking like if I could pick his badge up. I'm like after you talk to me like that yeah. <laughs> and my boy like that I'm, on Twitter. I'm good, like, dog. Yeah. Oh, so Ooh, you went back know. on your pick in bracket 14. What you, did I, you I don't remember. What I had samurai. This you had XSK samurai to come what out in winners, okay. and you had Romfinite in losers. Did I actually say you, that? Yeah, it, but then you changed it to DR Tax though because it's crossed out here. Romfinite. I don't think Tax though showed up. Did he show up? Yeah, he did. Was he? I thought he Taxo was the. Was, I thought Taxo was Kaba. That's oh, why. Okay. DR yeah. Taxo. Yeah. So Taxo, Taxo was, was the uh, sec. Because uh, I remember thinking this was no, no. Mena is the birdie. Mena is ridiculous. No, no, no. But he's the second. He's like the bad. The not as no. good birdie. Well, I don't you, think no, so. actually, Taxo. Oh, yeah. Is there? Romfinit yeah. for sure came out in losers. Uh, losers right? side. He yeah, Romfinit yeah. came out in losers because I had to play him in losers top uh, yeah. sixty four. Second round of top Shout 64. Shout out to Romfinit. So, sh so wait, Taxo Sherry? was that dude who just wasn't there? Sherry no, he was there. Paul? I promise you. But he I wasn't him. at the He actually was one of the people the that spoke English. Yo. No, he didn't play in the exhibition. There was, he was like there the was two dudes who spoke English. Yeah. And he and was that guy. Both of the dudes that speak English, they're not as good at, at tree fighting. Right. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so when they they will willingly the admit language, it. They will willingly admit it. Their, their skill level. They can get there. They're right. just not there right now. Right, because they speak two languages. So, look right, at, they're look both at that. focusing on their the multilingual yeah. <laughs> abilities. <laughs> See that? Um, Sherry Jennings sir. beat Black Skies? Yeah, Blake oh, Skiles. What? Blake Skiles. Sherry, Sherry Janox Damn. beat Blake Skiles. And then lost to Ralph it. And she was very not happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Ralph did ball. make it out of his pools. So, he did make it out of his pool. That's good. What happened? Did I spit on you? Nah, you're good. Okay, good. Let's keep going. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got some, uh, some more. We keep tournaments going about to start soon, so we got to <laughs> gotta jam through so these. Okay, so 15. Let's see if it's the same right. order. Yeah, so 15. Rom, oh, man. I called this one. Oh, nice. Yeah, Nick called Rom the winners, which is what happened. You had Kenneth Pope. So yeah. Ken, fucked, Ken up. fucked up. Ken. <laughs> did he play like a bitch? He played like a bitch. He really <laughs> did. Like, generally, he fucked up and he played like I a bitch. I still don't know what that dude looks like. I even I thought he was Matty Pie. This dude is just like a enigma, dude. He was like, is that? Is that? You go one on one. Is that Kenneth? I forgot Pope? what Maddie like, Pie looked like. So, now I know so Nick Pie. was the only one who was right, actually. Yeah. Wait, Whatever. no, sorry. Our viewer choice, ITNW, also chose Rameda. Oh, what did what I do? Fuck? You chose Rameda. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, moving on, moving on. Moving on. Quick. All right. Moving 16. onward. 16. Uh, oh, you we almost had this oh, wait, one. This I almost is, actually, yeah, we almost had this one. I didn't believe in Nick D. I haven't seen Nick D, so I don't. Dude, creamy don't know man about candy. So this was cheap as fuck. He plays John. Justin Wong and everybody picked Justin Wong to come out in winners, but the loser yeah. is what everybody two owed everybody. Fuck. Who is that? Who the? Why does oh, he have Krizzle. his own goddamn phone number? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Is that Chris? Why is his phone number? Maybe it's a uh, tag. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's uh, an ex girlfriend or something. And he oh won't shit! Like, <laughs> That'd yeah. be hype as fuck. Like you. Yeah, you win win SCR and then with a the phone number in your tag. Dude, you <laughs> carve that shit in like a bathroom stall. And you'd be like, call this for a good call time. Call so, your ex girlfriend. <laughs> so, who did Daily Tain lose to then? I think it's Crizzle. Everyone. That's Crizzle, right? No, he lost to 8th grade, who is the Mexican Hellfire. Akuma player who Dude, now Hellfire plays. Hellfire fucked up. I don't even see Daily Tain in this bracket. Daily Tain, he is at the. Uh, look on the bottom round. Oh, there we go. I yeah. see it. 128. 8th grade. Number 2. Lost to 8th grade. Lost that was somebody grade. you said Damn. that might be a dark horse. Yeah. He uh, was a pretty good Akuma player from Mexico in Street Fighter 4, and now he's playing Ken, and he beat Daily Tain. Okay, so Ken, dude. I had to give Hellfire shit for losing to Krizzle. Nice. Oh, sure. this bracket. You definitely should. Ooh, do you want to give us the lowdown on this one, or what happened? 17. Uh, Nick. Mark fucked up oh. is basically what happened. We all fucked up this weekend. <laughs> Mark fucked up. He played like he... I, honestly, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but that's pretty much how it went down. He fucked up. Uh, he had it. He had Optic. it against Panoptic, but he doesn't have that much Nash experience. Okay. Uh, and he just wasn't. He wasn't familiar. He didn't know what to do against against that style of play. So, so it was it. unfortunate. But after that happened, uh, he, he kind of had like a little okay. bit of a breakthrough. Okay. Uh, so he got sent to losers. What happened in losers? Did he make it out? In losers? He lost through another Nash. 
two Nash. He does not know that matchup. Oh. And I was like, because we were playing combo cash the day before. Uh, I didn't know that he had so many Nashes he in his pool. Out. And I was like, <laughs> yo, you have a Nash problem. And then he was like, no, I don't have a Nash problem. Combo cash is just hella good. And then <laughs> I was like, Combo cash doesn't really even play that much. Combo cash is hella good. Yeah, but, he is really good, but he but doesn't play as much. But on top of that, anymore. Mark has a Nash problem. Hmm. And uh, he didn't want to admit so it. So called it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it the day before. And then it's like he, you can't even he say played I against so two Nashes. Boy, like he's gonna get and himself. then he lost to both of them. He beat uh, Cheese in winners and then lost to Cheese in losers. That's he was tilted sucks. when he played him. And Mono didn't yep. even show up. Mono yes. had a job interview, so he couldn't make it to SCR. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry, so moving on to 18 here. 18 had Julio Fuentes and Ramasama, oh, and damn. who would have thought okay. that Ramasama was going to beat Julio except for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. I was the only right, one who right. said Ramasama was going to come out and win. And we were like I laughing at him. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know Ramasama switched to Rashid. Uh, you know, if I had known, then I would have believed in my boy. My would boy. you have? Yes. You guys because both pegged Fubarduck to come out and, and win. And Fubarduck oh, didn't show up. Mika. <laughs> Wait. It, oh, oh he didn't, didn't show up. up? Okay, yeah. well, that explains a lot. Now, he would have yeah. bodied everybody. And he would have bodied everybody in this bracket because his you didn't even chose. You didn't even choose drama for your losers. Yeah, you can't, you you can't, you can't prepare for the tech lose. that I'm sure that Fubar Duck <laughs> yeah, exactly. has, has right now. Like you just can't if, prepare if for it. If Ramasama had to fight, let's see what what size of the bracket. This is on losers now. This is on losers. Let me go back to winners. Julio got no. Go back to winners. No, no. We don't Loco did pretty good. Oh, Kibana Loco. Yeah, he did. And then he lost. good. I think that was something that I said. Yeah, was gonna so do physics, well. came out. physics is a really good Vega player from Vegas as well. Uh, physics and it. Pixels are friends. Too old I met Julio. them both and this week. Man, whatever, bro. I mean, it's Julio. Julio. He also beat El Cubano Loco, yeah. dog. So, he did you know, beat He did, dog. He did, dog. All right, All right moving on to, on to the 19. Next one, next one. Moving on up. 19, LPN, Punko. Is Rathmatix in this? Yeah, Rathmatix. Blockbuster John did pre Oh. Do you want to talk, talk us through this one? I got to. I had to talk through my salt. You got to talk through your salt. I fucked up. Yeah, you <laughs> fucked up. You played like a bitch. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did. Um, uh, the problem was I uh, I wasn't ready for Punko. Like I never played against a Cami that was that good, really. So I didn't really know what to expect. All right. Everybody was telling me before I played him like, "Yo, Punko is so crazy. You got to watch out. Like he's going to do DPS. He's going to do all this crazy shit." And when I played against him, it was just very flow charty, and I kept expecting him to break the flow chart and do something crazy, but that's not what he did. Uh, he just played solid and then pushed me into the corner and just tried to keep me there. And he just worked on reacting to every situation where I could try to get out of the corner. I feel so. like Punko plays crazy against people that he knows. That yeah, he, like, it's knows only how if they he has play. to read about the player. Yeah. And so uh, that's mostly who we tend to see him play, so that's how we think like he's going to play. When, that's when you play somebody that you don't, you have no idea like what their tendencies are, as solid as possible. The only mm. time he starts playing crazy is when he's on defense. And yeah, the thing is, on he had so much comfort in that matchup, carrying Cammy's, that he kept the momentum. Even though I was able to like take rounds and take momentum from him, he always uh, knew how to switch right. it back into his favor. So he would okay. place a dive kick well to the point where it was plus on block when I didn't have meters, right. so I couldn't DP. So, uh, so you lost to Punko, but you beat LPN, yeah. and then you lost him in, in losers finals. What happened there? I was really shaken by my loss from Punko. It was one of those like mental break things. So uh, then he, LPN switched characters to Birdie, uh, and I where, was Who not, did he play in the, in the He played Alex. He played Alex? He stuck with Alex the whole time? He stuck with Alex, yeah. Okay. And it was very close. He beat me the first game, and it was very close. And then I beat him the second game, and it was very, very close. Like, okay. ridiculously close. We both had no health. About the timeout, one second on the clock, he did something stupid and I punished him. Okay. And then I won. But if he didn't do anything, he would have won because he had slightly more health than me. Oh, but, that's the uh, funny thing is, is you were the only one who, who was right with your pick and winner really? and loser. <laughs> do, you, do you remember who you picked? Punko winners, LPN losers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that's where you went wrong, dude. Yeah, that's where no, you, that's I where really, you went wrong. No, I really did believe no, that I could smart. beat LPN. But the thing is, <laughs> I knew that if I had lost to, I think it would have been better if I lost to LPN the first time we played. So he would have picked Alex again the second time, and I wouldn't have been as shaken for my match against Punko. Because playing against Punko really made me realize that there's another level of understanding. I think you just believed. I definitely did believe. That was not the problem. But you predicted that you wouldn't make no. it out. I'm not going to predict that I'm going to make it out winners, because then if I don't, I sound like an asshole. But if I don't predict that I'm I make saying it out, I sound like an out asshole because yes. I didn't make it out in winners. Yes. If you predict that you're going to make it out winners and you lost, then you sound like an asshole. I don't think so. I think you just okay. sound confident. Well, that's how I feel. And then I also hold my L's. Okay. I lost. I fucked up. Did. I didn't make it out in winners. I thought I would. Yeah. That was my one goal for the weekend. But if you had Punko in your bracket, would you did you would you realistically think that you would make it out in winners? Realistically? No, I, w I would be like that's a toss up. I don't know because I have yeah. never played him. So and I, I believe know. that's what I said. 
Yeah. That probably is what you said. That sounds... Yeah. Yeah. So moving on to pool. We're actually going <laughs> to bounce back to pool two here because that's how it was. Two boys. All right, all right, so from right. 19 to two. Sick. Uh, PR Balrog was everyone's winner pick, and that was absolutely right. The nice. viewer pick... Actually, let me go back to the viewer pick on the last one real quick. That was Lemon Crimes, and he chose that Wrath was going to come out okay, and Poonko was going to come out in Losers. Shout out to Lemon Crimes. Shout out to Lemon Crimes. Lemon. So back to, to two, our viewer choice uh, in winners was Dr. Stance. And then PR Balrog and Losers. <laughs> so shout outs to ITN. Yes! Yes! <laughs> God, how much do I wish that that happened? That, <laughs> that would have been so, so fucking sick. Shout out to Tolly in the chat right now. Oh, I remember watching this, Brack. So this was in the early pools, and I remember uh, basically Van Wynn has a really good Nash. Yeah. And he knew the he knew the Geef matchup perfectly. It, he made it incredibly hard. I don't. I think even Stu probably would have lost. Like, Van Wynn. He knew it really, really well. I tried to give him some advice, and, and the advice worked, but it still didn't work enough. Like he didn't have right. enough experience, like playing in such a way. To beat that Nash in, in his current, uh, current at his state. current like state, yeah. I guess you. It was uh, it was rough, but I then he you. bodied some other Nashes, and then like yeah, <laughs> he just met him again in the losers bracket. So then that's how Paul got knocked out, and then PR Balrog just raped everybody in winners. Stance got to his losers final. Yeah, though. see they they got see he bodied everybody in losers, and then he met Van Wyn again at the end. And none of us. He beat Van Richard Wynn. Wynn, dude. Yeah, Richard Wynn. Richard Wynn was playing Urian. Oh okay, but. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. been practicing. That, that's the character you're sticking with. That's his tournament. <laughs> don't fucking matter. I don't care if it's your fourth fucking tenth character. No, I'm not taking away from it. I'm oh, just okay, saying, okay. like, instead, of, it's not like uh, he beat Rashid, which would be a Different. really it would be, it yeah, would be much more difficult. And I, right. I have he heard Yuri? multiple Urian players saying that Keith wins that match, and Keith players saying that Keith wins that Why match. Why would he so. stick with it? If Paul, so, if you lost that, you would have fucked up. So you know, you should <laughs> you should have beaten Richard. Wayne. Okay, but that's sick. That's pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're pretty excited about that. He met Van Win again. And then he just crushed him. That's tough. That's, That's, good. That's tough. Okay, so, so bracket twenty. Yeah. Okay, do. knuckle do free. Yeah, everybody chose do, and then uh, everybody and chose Latte didn't Mocha show up. La oh, yeah. what the hell, bro? Yeah. You would have done so much work at this tournament. He would have. He would have made it out and loses for sure. He would have. Yeah. yeah. So Anti was in this. How did? So Anti lost the custom fit. Let's see what happened to him because the viewer. No anti, anti. No anti won. I guess, oh, anti fit. made it out. Yeah, he got top so thirty-two. The choice kicked he made down it out. Right. This is why I hate brackets. <laughs> 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 this is so bullshit. Whatever, dog. <laughs> He made Whatever. it out. Who cares about making out pools? It, it matters who you lost to. It's not about yeah. making out pools. I've been saying this shit for 20 years. It's not about making out of fucking pools, man. If you buy everybody and, like, nobody's good at the game, and you're like, oh, bro, I got top 32. Eat a dick, bro. You didn't fucking lose. You didn't have to play anyone. <laughs> if the first person yeah. that was good you played against, you lost to, eat a dick. You lost. I you will sucked. say that because anti lost. <laughs> uh, that happens. You can see the anti lost to custom fit here, and in yeah. losers, he actually ran it back against. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that is pretty cool. Who did he beat in top 64? I'm curious. I don't know. I don't, yeah, we don't I, have those. But no. <laughs> I don't. I don't know who he if beat in top sixty four. No, I know he did switch characters. He's not playing Nash anymore. He's playing Ken. Ken yeah. So Ken's broken. All right, moving on <laughs> to bracket twenty one. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> That's a, what that means. A bracket twenty one had Oil King, Strider, and Infrey. Oil King made out winners. I think you did. I predict predict Oil yeah, King. Yeah. Uh, Nick and Sal both chose Oil King. Yeah. I chose Strider. Because you didn't know who Oil King was. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know who Oil King was. So on the loser's side, I want to say Strider made it out. Yeah, Strider made it out against Infra yeah, Infra Nice. Okay, that was pretty <laughs> And free. Odd that Jobs. Was free, the Dark Horse Odd, odd Jobs. Look at him doing work and losing bracket. <laughs> Look at that, man. He beat, he beat, he beat Don, Don, Don Sanity and T.A. Wolf. Yeah, man. All right, next one. So next moving one. This on one was to 22 one. Next one, next one. here. 22 was Snack Eyes, Mago. Fuck. Snack Eyes. And let's see who else was in here. Okay, Snake Kraken Eyes. Kraken Atkins and John oh, Stamos. What let's did not I forget John Stamos. What did I think we... you might have predicted John Stamos so, for winners. I think Nick was the only one who was right. <laughs> Nick predicted Mago to come out in winners. And okay. then all the rest of us chose uh, Snack Eyes. Snack Eyes. It's not fair. You Dude, saw Mago wasn't sticking. wearing shoes when yeah. he played against Snake Eyes. Oh, Flaquito. We that? talked about Flaquito. Dude, we said he could have done it. Yeah. Flaquito was absolutely ridiculous. It looks like he beat he Corey almost, Bell, he yeah, beat Kraken Atkins, and he lost the snake. Which is respectable, honestly. There's no shame in losing the snake guys. Oh, no way. Snake no? ears. So who, yeah. who put who put Flaquito in losers then? Probably Mono. Snake. So he, he lost the snake. He lost, he lost the snake. snake. That's it. He didn't yeah. lose that he didn't yeah. lose that S C R he lost the snake guys. <laughs> <laughs> he lost two snakes. Hey, I would love to go home just being like, Yeah, the only person who beat me was Snake, snake Eyes. Guys. <laughs> yeah. I lost the snake guys, whatever, bro. So whatever, dog. That sucks. This one 
Uh, bracket 23, I don't think anyone, in fact, none of us predicted Mena to beat Ooh, Ricky Ortiz. I didn't know that he Dude, did that. Mena RD. I didn't know that he did that. Mena OD. So, That's pretty sick. What did we predict? Ricky? Uh, Ricky all of us, and all of us right. including our viewer uh, in Cross, all chose Ricky. Um, and then Nick chose Leviathan and Losers. Right, right. Sal and I chose Mena, um, and so did the Losers. So okay, let's go to the Losers. Bring me to Losers. See what happened. Ricky Ortiz there. made oh. it out. Just because, I mean, all Leviathan of us picked for winner. Got so. killed by Violent yeah. Kane. Who's Violent Kane? That's a great question. I don't know. Because Violent Kane, he bodied P Money. P Money! Wing. Violent or Leviathan. <laughs> and then got rocked. And then he got rocked. Man, good time. That's times. He had a good run. All right, let's move on to 24 here. 24 was a nuke Onuki's bracket. Futile oh, and... I think Lucan was in here as that's well. That's all the picks that we chose. Uh, Ultima was in here as well. Ultima? Oh, yeah, he was... Okay, so he Ultima told me he he actually had signed up under, like, a Dark Horse name. Oh. Hidden, hidden, hidden name, yeah. Hidden name, so that wasn't I wanna, Ultima. I don't want to... Don't blow it up. Yeah, I'm not going to blow, blow it up. up. So, um, uh, Futile didn't show up. He had a gaming convention uh, for his day job. Oh, he went to Indiana. Afrocol was in here, too. Nice. Dude. Afrocol was in here, too. Afrocol. But yeah, I don't know if he showed up for the tournament, though. Because oh, I remember okay. him being there Saturday night. Uh, it looks like Saturday. Well, that's so, how, look I'm at surprised you remember every, anything from Saturday night. <laughs> this uh, Xanox We don't got to talk about that. <laughs> let's, both, let's, let's focus on, on the brackets at hand. Look at this. So, at the bottom here, the Xanox guy. Yep. So, Africa didn't show up, so he got a buy. And then Futile didn't show up, and he got a buy. And then he got a buy by two nights. Fuck. Just two free pools and then just losers. Oh, that Damn. sucks, dude. <laughs> Damn. Just to get to winner's semis. Hey, you, you know play. he's going to say he went like 4-2 at right. SDR. <laughs> right, right. You know? Yeah, I had a pretty good ratio. Pretty yeah. good yeah. win, win to loss I ratio. I like eight people. So no, that's that's when you got to pay attention to the brackets. See, yeah. You can't, just, sure. you can't just have somebody tell you you made top 13. Did he lose twice? Yeah, he lost twice immediately. Oh, Damn, Macabre Monster. Oh, shit. Macabre oh, Monster. He did lose twice. a burnout fighter. He got to lose. He lost start. Oh, body, shout outs to you, dude. Body Sorry forever. For <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I don't understand. Shout outs. Shout outs to my. Shout uh, outs to our boy, Zanos. Shout outs to our boy. All right, moving on to Lucan made it out losers. That's, uh, Lucan yeah, made Lucan, out losers? Yeah, Lucan, that's nice. Surprising. Uh, okay, this was a blow. Yeah. This was okay, a blow. Up. On SDI. Oh, I remember, oh, I remember yes. saying that Panoy could beat Yukadon, and then okay. I was like, okay, Yukadon's going to go on. I, I vividly I, remember that. I know. You said something to that extent, and then I convinced you otherwise. I was like, but like you could on, dude. Like, yeah, no. no. Yeah. And then you we, did. we all I started agreed. writing SD Panoy. He's where got it on his piece of paper. He's got the evidence. Uh, he's got it and then I scratched it off and put you could on. So that means you definitely changed. Yeah. Fuck. I gotta believe, dude. I have to believe in my yeah. boy, the pony. Everybody reads. Everybody gets a ride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody's safe. Shout he out just, dude, he really didn't Not even just take the win over him. I know. He body his shit. Four rounds straight. Dude. And he made like every right Ooh. read. It was every kind of right disgusting. Read. Yeah, it was it's ridiculous. Kind of he, he straight, you could. And he was like, okay, this dude is just blocking like a lot. I'm going to like march Block. on for, forward just, for yeah, like man. probably like a good three seconds and then did standing heavy kick. Boom, he just crush knew. counter. <laughs> he just knew when he wanted nasty, to press buttons. It was probably it was one of the hypest nasty. moments of SCR too. That's very I remember possible. being there and just <laughs> they picked him up off the stage yeah. and like carried him. Yeah, we had our. <laughs> oh, it was cool. We had our throne. We had the best seat in the house. Shout yeah, out to production. Shout out to fucking <laughs> overwatching the peon. Yeah, dude. I hope he's here tonight. I don't think he is. It's like no one ever even looks yeah, up up there so. either, so nobody You're knows good, over there yeah. we're watching them. Only when you guys were yelling at me was when I knew to look over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sal! <laughs> Sal! It was like that. And then you're looking yeah. All yeah. everywhere except for up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why would you look Everybody up? does it. Yeah, I think I caught Valiant doing that too. So we're looking at the front door. You could on obviously made it out in losers, but I'm just going to go ahead and show the results of losers and he quick. beat that Goro dude. Goro. So there's yeah. the story about the Goro dudes. There's two Goro dudes, both from Mexico, and they're both brothers. And Silos. Young Silos. How'd Silos do? Silos lose to. He went Ooh, zero and two. Okay, okay, he, probably, he probably like fought Yukadon or something. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, so my rich. OS, my OS no now way. for no way, no way. If I ever no go O2 in that. a tournament from now on, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, didn't show up. Yeah, no, I really don't think Silos, because Silos was at SCR, but I don't think he would have played no, this No, it says that he played. No, he played. He played. everybody else that shows, like, a, a DQ I remember, or not. I remember, because I asked really? him, and he was like, yeah, I didn't do that good. So. Yeah, I saw him. Yo, man. Silos, if you're here, dude, you fucked up real bad. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to find him, I'm going to tell him. Probably going right. to tell him. Moving on to 26, we're tell actually burning like through these bitch. pretty good, so let's, let's keep the pace up. All right. X, Y, Z, Z, Y is what everybody pegged to come out and winner, and Charlie was our loser's choice. 
So it looks like X Y X Z Z Z Z Z Z is right. what I was told. Hey, there's the other Goro dude Z-Z? I was talking about. So we pronounce it Z Z. Apparently, it's pronounced Z Z, but I like just Z-Z. X Z Z Y. So whatever. Z Z. Um, Shizy. Charlie got bodied by Zizzy, so let's see what happened in yeah. Losers. Dog Dog Teeth! Teeth. Dog Teeth! Jet oh my god. Charlie. So dude named wait, so Charlie. Yeah. Dog Teeth went against. So wait, who did Dog Teeth Let's go back to winners. Who did he lose to? I think he lost to. So, first round. Oh, no. he, he lost, lost to Charlie. He lost to Charlie. Ooh, Damn. he's lucky that Jed beat him then, maybe, yeah. possibly. But potentially, he didn't have yeah. to play him again. Charlie yeah, was the only dude in this bracket that was oh, going to beat Dog Teeth. That's what this means. Almost got the run back if Jeff Ham. Right, because yeah, he would have yeah. beat. He would have beat. Um, he would have beat X Y. Would he? Have? You think so? I mean, he's Dog Teeth. Like he probably would have. Think about how okay, dangerous Teeth is. So Dog Teeth was giving us crap in the parking lot about this match. So, I, uh, but now I understand why we we chose that. Because I think that Charlie does. No, 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 no. He was he was giving me crap about something from last night at Zanbeer. The t- oh. The tournament at Zanbeer last night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was in the stream. Chris G was uh, streaming it on his channel, so I was in there like doing Monster predictions, and, that and I predicted that that Dog Teeth would lose if Romfinet won this round, and then he Damn. Didn't, and then he gave like he saw me. He's all like outside <laughs> <laughs> being Dog Teeth, and, like naturally. Yeah. Fuck doing you, Dog dude. Teeth things. So moving on to, to twenty seven. <laughs> 27. Yeah, like, for sure, dude. I'm going to go, like, <laughs> see about the production. So. <laughs> all, all of us, uh, including our viewer, Magata, uh, all chose Myers to come out in winners. Um, That's so That crazy. is not at all. He Who lost to that, that dude, dude twice. He is a Mexican Cami. Or, no, Karen. Excuse me. Mexican wow. Karen. Really? And he also beat Matty Pie. And he also lost to Mike and I, who we're going to have on commentary later tonight, so you guys can get Sick. further acquainted with him. Sick. Yeah, that, Mike I watched, I watched, uh... I watched this Karen player beat Matty Pie twice. Okay. And I wasn't able to be. Th- I wasn't able to see the first game, uh, but I did get to see the second game. And I was Matty Pie fucked up. Damn. Matty Pie fucked up. He That's always what it boils down to in the end. Yeah. So what happened especially in, in this game? So fucked up. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that okay. pony he, dude. He got knocked into losers and then beat Alex Myers again. If Damn. I'm but Matty. Oh, never mind. Matty Pie beat, Matty Alex Pie Myers. beat Alex Myers and then Matty dude. Pete. Matty Pie. Matty Pete. Matty, Matty Pie beat Bobino and then, and then lost and then to Pony lost again. To Pony. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. He fucked up. He played really good. He beat Alex Is Myers. It Pony or like Pony. Pony. It's okay. Pony. Okay. And then he lost said. to Pony. Eyeballs are uh, right. Yeah, so that's yep. unfortunate. Let's move How on. But good stuff to Mike and I. Good stuff to Mike and I. Yeah, no, Mike. Uh, he fucked up. He fucked up. He lost to someone. I think he lost <laughs> For sure. To <laughs> For sure. Well, clearly, because he didn't win. I think he lost to either Flash or. It was someone that he normally beats. I think it was, uh, yeah. That. I think he lost to Momochi and then lost to Flash. Hmm. Or maybe he lost to Flash. Speaking of and Momochi, Momochi, he ran a train through this bracket. Yeah, of course. Um, Look at this. Over Apology Man, R Squared, Momochi 2 0, Momochi 2 0, Momochi 2 0 against Damn. all of the winner side of this. And how did pool. losers turn out? Was it Apology so, Man? I so, think Apology Man made it, it out. We all um, chose Momochi for winner, and I, I want to say it was Apology Man who made it out, and all I of think us he pegged beat X- Alexis. Yeah. Alexis. Yeah, and it was yeah, Apo- he beat Alexis. What? 2 0? Right. Yeah. Damn. And he beat him in winners, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, he beat him twice. Rashido! <laughs> God, yeah, I hate man. that character. So do I. So do I. Is that who uh, Paul G. Man's using? Yeah. Of course. Yep. All right. Well, naturally. Moving on to 29. Uh, 29 I don't, I don't has feel the uh, urgency of the tournament anymore. I feel like so <laughs> we're not starting. Yeah, um, we're definitely not starting anytime soon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel that too. I'm getting comfortable. So yep. this was Kaba's bracket. Oh, and shit. And this is uh, Nick. Dude, your torso looks forth. so long because, like, your shirt <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. Just no, like I had to point that out, dude. dude. Yeah. So Nick That's went so back sick. and forth on this bracket of who he thought was going to win. I swore up and down that Kaba was going to win, and he just didn't believe me. Yeah, I owe you a dollar still, by the way. Oh, I don't that's know if right. you remember that. So, yeah. You and that money. is, it, it actually went down exactly how we predicted, which was Kaba and F Champ were going to play each other, and I said that he was going to body him. And looking at that, it looks like he did. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did work. Long Damn, I just thought boys. I believed in the Sim. And the Sim versus Ryu, like he has, you know, maybe he's he put just a got baby Daigo. Into Daigo. Sal was also right choosing Kaba in winners. Put a baby in Daigo. And you chose Nerd Josh to come out and lose a baby in Daigo, dog. Well, here's the story. So Nerd Josh beat F-Champs Dalsum. 
Then FGM switched to Nash and just lamed his shit the fuck out. So that was the story. Thank you guys for listening. When did that, when did that happen? That happened in the bracket. Where? Oh, I think uh, in losers? losers. Go, yeah. go to losers. I think in losers. Losers? Yeah. Yeah, I've played as Nash. It's pretty frustrating. Oh, it's pretty man. lame. Nerd Josh. Lame as fuck. Champ. So was you... that in the finals? Oh, yep, that was Loser's Finals. So I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, it's Loser's Finals, F Champ, and Nerd Josh. Yeah. Josh Yenny V up. did work, uh, but then yeah. lost our Nerd Josh 2-1. So South it might have been close. Nerd Josh to come out in Losers. Oh, shit. That fucked up. Let's go Warzone. You know, uh, Nerd Josh, he tried to do like an instant air dive kick, EX, and then he just did the normal dive kick and grounded, yeah. and then he died. <laughs> but if he did that, like, he would have won, though. So, so he, he fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> now, for whatever Sound reason. like a lot of people fucked up this game. <laughs> we're going to go from bracket 29 <laughs> all the way to pool 3. I don't know if you guys have heard, but people Dude, fucked up. Dude, so many people fucked up this weekend. It's crazy. Damn. Okay, so this is the bracket that we were talking about earlier where we thought we didn't know that Yusuf was in here. If he uh, was, he was under a different name or he got switched into it. Yeah. Um, but this was originally the Geef bracket. The Geef bracket, and dude. Bracket so of Geefs. So I, I pegged Chris King for coming out and winners. Yeah. Stop pegging people. Yeah. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Um, so I pegged Chris King to come out and losers, <laughs> or sorry, winners over the Geefs because he plays Vega. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that didn't happen. No, no, he lost. Not at all. He so he up. lost. And then, uh, Yusuf came out of nowhere and bodied Dude, everybody. Dude, he bodied every living person. Yep, Yusuf. Like, every living object. Wait, like, where artifacts. Did he, come from? he came from the bottom two side. World? So he the came. bottom side 2-0, the bottom side 2-0. Uh, looks Yusuf like he got a buy. I wonder though. what happened to Aggro Crack. He came... Yusuf came to Wednesday Night Fights the first time he came. He got bodied by Stupendous. Yep. And he came back uh, a little bit later and then bodied. He reversal Stupendous. bodied. Yeah, reversal and then, bodied. So that was the last time that they had played. Body and then he bodied him again bodied him, uh, yes. this time. But, yes, uh, he did. Just Chris so King that it's noted, Chris King and Stupendous did play each other. And Stupendous won. So Nick's still wrong. <laughs> hey! <laughs> right. Well, it would have been wrong regardless. Godier got pretty far. Yo, Godier. Um, Oh, and good. he went 2 1 ah. against Chris King, so that wasn't free. That's pretty good. Um, looks like we're starting this tournament. Sounds like right, it is, because I can't hear anything here. other yeah. than David's voice right now yeah. booming so into my shoes. I can feel the rumbling. All right. In my rubber so On the bracket 30. Oh, this one was sick. Okay. Oh. Javi fucking bodied everybody. Everybody. And then bodied a bunch of people in top 64 and top 32 nice. as well, so that was pretty sick. Um, I knew that he was going to like do well. I thought DJ Divine was going to body everyone with Mika. That didn't happen. So he beat Flash, that was which was an pick. upset. Wow, look at how early on he beat Flash also. That's yeah. crazy. And then That's Flash crazy. battled back. Yeah. Like he played. Yeah, he might have played some, here. like, losers. almost as many matches. Like, probably one of the most matches out of anybody yeah. in the tournament. Because he made it pretty far after losing. Yeah, look at all round. this. This is crazy. Flash, 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 Flash. Wow. Wow, he started in losers, yeah. essentially. Because so, yeah. he was he was seated in round two. Right. And then Lost got bobbed. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then ran it back. like, And then all the way through top 64 and top 32 also. I think he got inside top 16. Yeah. At least. I, right. I think I remember seeing him, seeing him up there. So moving on. So I don't think anyone predicted that one. No. That was round crazy. One. Who, Javi beat some other people, Javi too. Javi fucked up all of our predictions. He <laughs> beat some other people, too. That so was this was like all the cards bracket. Daigo was supposed to also be in this bracket, but he wasn't here. Right. He didn't. So um, everybody he chose. just decided, nah, I'm going to go body everybody in, in Europe, Europe yeah. for free. Went for that European tournament. Yeah, he freaking and he did. murdered everybody. And he did. He made the right call. Yeah. So <laughs> Moss, AC, See, that's, beat that's, how you, that's how you make a call and not look like an asshole. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you pull that shit off. So it was right Olicard who uh, Nick and Sal picked for winners. Kickdown also picked him for winners. And let's see what happened in losers here. It was DR... Oh. Is that Yo, Moss HD, I see you, boy. Dude, Moss is Doing work. Yeah. And he lost Getting to win. Chorizo. Oh, he lost to Chorizo. <laughs> Everybody loses to Chorizo, okay? You know, at the end of the Chorizo day. Chorizo gives you heartburn. Yep. Makes you fat. Too spicy. Okay? Everybody loses to Chorizo, so that's no, nothing to no be winners. ashamed of. No winners. Except for DR Juarez. 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 Can't do it. All right. Moving that on. damn dude. Juarez. 32. So 32. Ooh. I think everyone expected Chow High. Chow High and Ian Sanity. And Babu Chips. Pretty sure everyone so Ian picked Sanity Chow High to got win his run back. So. Yeah. If but you, it was bad. I think and, Chow High ooh, probably had just, like. Did I predict that? Um, yeah, you did. Ooh. Oh, my boys. Or Ian Sanity? My boy's not believing in my boy, Babu Shots. I'm surprised Babushas. that Ian lost to, Nic to Nicali. I'm not. 
Okay. That matchup is not that free. So I just get fucked <laughs> by Ian. Basically, yeah. Ian doesn't really know matchups in this game. That's the main. That's his okay. problem. Like, all right, moving to yeah. bracket but he knows four me. apparently. So bracket yeah, four, we had does know me. The matchup. We had Chris Tatarian, Chai Rithy, uh, Bushin style, SD Tempest, uh, and I think that's ah, it. For so the this we this ah. bracket got messed up for me. So I I thought Bushin style, the Chris T killer. Yeah. Okay, was gonna was gonna make it all the way through and then body Chris T and oh winners. My God. Oh my Yeah. See, oh, and then Chris T was gonna make it out in losers. But Chai Rithy, <laughs> you punk. Throwing a wrench in the ass Canadian ass bitch. Throwing the wrench Dang. in the bracket. Yeah. And uh, messing things up there. So he Only ended person up. person who pegged Chris T to come out was Sal and okay. winners. Yeah. Hey, do we have the same shoes? I don't know. Maybe. Do. Take your hand off your shoes. Not exactly. No, no, we don't. Not exactly. Never mind. I'll I think I think I've, I think we've had this conversation before. So actually, Sal was completely right in the last two brackets then. So he chose Chris T and Chai Rithy, and that is exactly what's Damn. happened yeah. in 32 Ooh, we and been in kept, four. keeping track of I'm pretty sure right. I've, I've, I've predicted the most. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep Pretty making hard. dumb bets like, you know, <laughs> fucking Nick Tanella beating hey, we K Brad. Do meaning <laughs> we do meaningful took, bets? Okay? Uh, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna take the bait. I'm not even gonna get debated right. right now. <laughs> Moving on to five is high Not even, even. Um, is that Sabo? Sabo? And Sabo? Sabo and Kelvin. Always bet on the Mikas, GTT, except for yeah. at SCR, because all the Mikas got bodies. So Stop. all of us went yeah. Haitani. Uh, our viewer choice went I our uh, ITNW chose Kelvin Haitani. Mm. So losers. It was, in fact, Kelvin. So Over me and Sabo. Sal were right. Sabo. What did I say? Uh, you said Sabo. Uh, and losers? Uh, and, uh, and I mean, it was almost that. that was close. So. It was close. I wonder if it was Mika Mika. What a dumb freaking match. Yeah, magic. it definitely <laughs> was. It definitely was. How stupid. <laughs> all right, no, moving on to that. six. Wait. Did Goichi get moved? They're probably just trading claps. Ooh, no. What? Goichi Mothman? lost round one. What? Wait. Uh, yeah. yeah. Against Mothman. Oh, yeah. Mothman? No. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. He yeah. changed his name to Mothman. What the okay, fuck? Who Why was it? Oh, yeah. Lennon. It was Lennon. 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 How did. El Yo. Lennon. Lennon, dog. That's I know. crazy. Dude, fresh Lennons. Mothman. Fresh Lennons. And then wow. he also beat. Uh, it looks Mark like Teddy. it was kind of free. Yeah. Yeah, he beat. Looks like it. He beat. He beat. Uh, Goichi 2-0, and then immediately after that, Goichi went on Twitter Mark and said Teddy that I beat lost. Tampa Bison? Mark Sorry. Teddy beat Tampa Bison. Whoa. Then so he went what on Twitter Goichi immediately, is. and then he said I lost first round to American Chun Li. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, Goichi! <laughs> That's what Goichi said on Twitter <laughs> immediately after that match. So, you know, and good stuff American in this sentence is <laughs> derogatory. Not, yeah, that is not. <laughs> Not just <laughs> yeah, driving. go Lennon, dude. Woo, <laughs> woo, woo. So represent. Goichi had a bracket much like Flash, where he started from the bottom of losers bottom and worked his bottom. way all the way out. Yeah. So okay. Good stuff to Goichi. He went against Perfect Legend. He cool went against one. Tampa Bison, and I don't know wreckage. Wreck Rekage. 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 Sure. Rekage. That's a fun. All right. Well, moving on to seven. Moving on up. For sure. I like how so they made that announcement, but then, uh, right. okay, here we go. All right, so Chris All right, G. I got to go. I got to play on stream. You guys fucking suck at running through things. <laughs> For sure, dude. Oh, I didn't even know that just we were that has, close to just starting. Has no, uh, Are we really that close to starting? Yeah, we're, like, starting right now. They're calling people for the stream. Oh, cool. Um, so that's cool. We ran, like, right up to the tournament. So that's yeah, I'm fine with right. that. So, we will be right back with the tournament, everybody. Stay tuned. Yeah, we will. <laughs>